we're going to start out with giving our praise on the glory to the Most High and to His Son. We will also say that we'll honor some respects unto the apostles, apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the Yaku, and the Wild Cloth, and the Most High Truth, Sincerity and Spirit. We say Shalom, in other words, peace. So I'm going I'm to show this real quick because here's a. Uh, Here's America trying to, you know, get get involved with Russia. This is, you know, there's a there's a rocket launcher, and then and then they let let's see, and that that's a Russian tank, and they they shoot it and they go back in the hide. All right, they get it they get it from a, uh, Eagle's eye view. You see, so as you saw, all right, pretty much that's America getting involved in the war. You see, and Russia, Russia, if they see if they see America getting involved too much, they're going they're going to get mad, all right? And they're already mad enough as it is through prophecy. Yep. But they going that's going to be the the, the 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 kickoff to that World War 3. All right, you have rumor, rumors of war, but real war will follow right after. They said two Satan uh, two Satan missions that they created can wipe out the east coast of of Babylon the Great America. And four to make the whole America flat. All right, all right. Don't we? We have not for, <laughs> we have not forgotten about Iran, man. You know, with their uranium and plutonium. You know, their their uh, their incentive or whatever that was. You know, they're they're twenty plus. Uh, they're twenty percent plus above the standard. You know, that was going in that one time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. They don't care about. They don't care about your about your. What do they call them? The, the, the limitations, the regulations. They don't care about all that, man. They don't care about being under under regulations that that Babylon set on Earth. God. They're done with that. You see? Hey, no, no more, uh, no more embargoes, man. Right, embargo. Right. Yeah, they was, they was under an, an embargo, uh -huh. which limited them from buying military might, from increasing their military, buying fighter jets, uh, 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 really going and creating nuclear missiles. Right. America had them under an embargo. As soon as they got off. <laughs> yeah, as soon as they, which happened a long time ago, Iran got off this embargo, mm -hmm. uh, this, this limitations. Because they were, they were basically on probation for a little bit, you see? It's but like, after, after that probation period was up, what's the first thing they did? They started going and cl uh, collecting plutoni uh, plutonium and uranium, which are the two chemicals that you need for uh, a nuclear missile. Those are the two chemicals that you're gonna need to go ahead and push together to conform that concoction, you see? And and they were going way above the uh, the limits that were set by the UN mm -hmm. because the United Nations set a limit as to how much a nation can uh, can collect. They went crazy. They said that you can only collect so much uranium and plutonium, but Iran, they was like, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna go collect as much as I want to, all right? Matter of fact, I, if I remember correctly, they were buying directly from, it was either China or Russia, showing you that they have a strong bond, you see? They're gone. These other nations in the East, they have a strong bond amongst each other, you see? So when it's time for the Eastern King, the Kings of the East, to send those missiles, you better believe those missiles will be correlated with each other, man. Hey, and I'm like, what, why, do you, why, does I, why did Iran need so much uranium and plutonium? The hell are you gonna make, what, what are you gonna make with that, you see? Right. You're trying to make missiles, man. Nuclear, ICBM, intercontinental, intercontinental ballistic <laughs> missiles, man. Yeah, they want to. Yeah, they want to wipe a con they want to wipe a country off the map. Yeah. All right, it's America. Let me get this. So we get that. Joel chapter two, verses I nine. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles: Prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up, be your plowshares into swords, and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Okay. All right? Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there I will sit and judge all the heathen round about. Yeah, so the Lord says, prepare war among the Gentiles. That's what's going on, man. It's among these heathens. Because you don't see Israel amongst this thing. Israel right. is in captivity right now. So he said, prepare war amongst the Gentiles. All these other nations are going to war right now. China, Elam, Moab. Je uh, Ammon, Esau, you know, I'm, I'm using the biblical terms though. Yeah, all right, so it says, if the weak say that I am strong, all right? So that's exactly why you got India, all right, which is a third, so-called third world country, 
Uh, what else? Uh, these different. Uh, what else? Vietnam. You got little, little, little countries or little, uh, you know, little areas yeah. that now are not scared to buck up against America. They're not. They're, yeah, they're not scared to, to to have some words with America, man, because they know that they got lead with China. They got lead with Russia. Okay. And on top of that, they got missus themselves. North Korea, they're not scared to, to, you know, to actually speak what they want to speak now. Because, because, because it's not all bark, you see? You could have all bark, but if you can't back it up with the bite, well then you're going to be in trouble. Okay. But you see, they, both, they have both the bark and the bite, you see? Okay. Mostly the bite. So, with that being said, going back to the scripture you brought out, because they said that you would no longer, you know, beat your plowshares in the swords. In other words, they're going to stop doing their agricultural work, you know, and get into their nuclear arsenal. You see, and, and that also goes into how these other countries, they supply America. All right, so this all works in with the famine too. Because they're going to stop producing enough for themselves and then also to supply America. Because they're too busy trying to, they're too busy trying to uh, uh, create their, their, their weaponry, man. All right, they're, that's what they're really busy with. They're done with this whole, with this whole uh, 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 quiet world where, where America reigns. They want a, a new world superpower, and they see that America's been weakened, and therefore, it's time to attack, you see? It's a perfect time right now. Right. I got Jeremiah, you got pizza? Yeah, no, you go ahead. John, I got Jeremiah 51. All right, now let's go ahead and get a seven. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. That it made all the earth drunken, the nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. Let us go every one into his own country. For her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. So Babylon the Great is is done. It's time to go. It's through. It's, it's finished, man. All right, on to the next kingdom, man. Because right. really, to be honest, America has been going down for the last what since this uh, since the, the crash in 2008, and then and then even now you got more crashes from the C19 that happened in 2019, I think. So now the economy's me uh, messed up, man. All right, the economy's been messed up. This nation, the dollar has been decreased. Inflation has been going up. Gas prices going up, shortages all, all over America of, of just little things, man. You got little things that you don't even think, that you would never think would go on a shortage, man. Like baby diapers and baby form formula, uh, helium. These things are shortaged because America does not necessarily produce these things, man. So these other nations that do produce them, they're not trying to sell it to America no more, man. They're not trying to do deal with America no more. So now America has got this, this shortage problem because they don't make all the things that they that their consumers consume. <laughs> yeah, America is, a, is based upon consumption. We always go into this. But guess what? America doesn't produce all of the necessities that Americans use on a day-to-day -day basis. They don't use them. They produce some things, but uh, on a mass scale, like your clothing, I mean, all this stuff, they don't produce enough of that stuff to go around, okay? Because they really buy a lot of these different products, okay, and merchandise from China, uh, well, uh, these other overseas countries, India, but these other countries are no longer trying to do deal with America like that. So that's why you see a bunch of shortages going on, man. All right? And not only that, but on top of that, America is not really using, um, not using all the, the shipments that they already have. This is all orchestrated, man. So they got, they got docks, they got shipments sitting at the docks that have not been opened up. And they're probably not gonna use them. Remember back in C-19, they were actually throwing these different type of containers, these containers that were full of product into the sea. Like what? What are you doing? You know, you're throwing literal products, literal merchandise into the sea. And then, and then they're also they were also what what the farmers and all the agriculture that they had. What they do is they take all the the potatoes and the, the milk and then put it under the ground. 
Yeah, they were burying that yeah. shit. Like yeah. it was good. It was good produce. Mm -hmm. But they went and buried it, man. Said we can't use it. And then, and then Bill Gates went and bought up all the farmland so that they can produce smart meat. <laughs> Look, man, America has been gone, bro. You think this nation is great? This nation has been gone, man. All right. Little do you know, America has already fell. You see, that's why it says Babylon is suddenly fallen uh, and destroyed. Take, take one for her and so she may be ill. Yes. Yeah, because it also said, you know, for the people to go back to their land. I was going to read it. Oh, God. Huh? I'll read it right quick. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. She can't be healed. Forsake her. Let us go everyone into our own country, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the sky. Damn. That, that's crazy. You know, that's a great precept because the Lord, you see, he said for Satan, Babylon the great is weak, is done, it's over. Everything ha everything has a set time. America had a set time to, to be on the rise. And now here in 2022 and all fourth, it's, it's on its decline into its last, into its last uh, breath. You see, so the Lord said, even, even for these other nations, man, go ahead and get the hell out of here, man. All right, because there ain't nothing here. All right, if you don't belong here in America, get the hell out, you know. But that, that especially goes for the so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans, but those of the one third, you don't escape physically, you escape spiritually. Yeah, all right. That's right. God. I got Job chapter 20, verse 4. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, yet shall he perish forever like his own dung. Mm. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? Mm. So know it's not that this is old, that the kingdoms, all the kingdoms of earth have had a time to be great, man. But they've all come down. You see, it's prophecy. Yabashim Yashai, it says in Daniel, you know, that uh, Daniel 4, 17, that you, you gotta know that the most high, the most high God, Yahweh, he rules in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomsoever he will. He's given America, the so-called white man, he saw the power, but now they're coming out of that power, you see? So, it was just like all these different kingdoms that were great at one point, mighty, high, but eventually they had to come down, bro, because it was their time to go. So America is on that time, okay? America is a ticking time bomb, and it's about to go, it's about to go out of power, okay? And according to the prophecy of Daniel, after the fourth beast, after the uh, the dragon, which was Rome, which we know that Rome, America is Rome, okay? America is Rome that was regenerated, that was rebirthed through the Renaissance because Rome fell, I believe, in 193 AD. But it didn't totally fall because it came back during the Renaissance, see? And it came back as America. That's exactly why America takes on the same exact traits as ancient Rome, okay? So we know that we are still in that fourth leg, man. We're still in that fourth beast. The, the, the feet is partly miry clay and partly iron. That's talking about Babylon the Great. That's talking about America, which is just Rome coming back. So, uh, hey, look, bro. We're in that last beast. And once this beast is finished, it says that the next kingdom will be the kingdom of Israel. All right? So that's how we know according to biblical prophecies, if you read, Look, we got next, man. Yahweh Shemesh Shai willing the Israelites, they're gonna be the next kingdom to rule under Yahweh Shai. Exactly. Yep, yep. And I got a precept on also going back to uh, how you need to flee. Jeremiah 50 and, and 6, it says, it says, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her, in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render under her a recompense. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. Therefore, like the nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. All right, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain. Uh, if it so be, she may be healed. You already read this one. But you see, the Lord, he said to flee, all right? And he said that 
the Lord, he's going to have, it's the, Lord, it's the time of the Lord's vengeance. All right, therefore, when these nukes come in, it's going to be the same, it's going to be like the same time during Noah. All right, when the Lord took out, when the Lord took out the whole earth, all right, and all the, all the, all the living of the earth, besides Noah and his family, the same thing is going to happen, but in America, you see? Yeah. And that's the one you did read, right? Jeremiah 50. Uh, yeah. Oh. yeah. I guess we both have the same. Let me get this in uh, Revelations chapter 18. It's like Revelations chapter 17 and verses 15. That's 16. And the ten horns which thou sowest upon the beast, thee shall hate the whore, shall make her desolate and naked shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire for the most high have put it in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree to give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of God should be fulfilled so we know the ten horns going into the EU you see so these European countries all right really if you want to think about it it's really the eastern countries right these eastern countries are going to hate the whore and we know the whore is Babylon the Great. So therefore, they're going to eat her flesh and they're going to burn her with fire. And through the prophecies that we've been bringing out, we know that the fire is going to be nuclear missiles. They're going to launch nuclear missiles over here and destroy it. So yeah, this prophesied America is going to be destroyed with ICBM nukes, you know? That's uh, Revelation, the sixth chapter. So here's Isaiah 47 and 1. So, so in the end, all right, you have to you have to take warning, all right, for for uh, for you Israelites, man, you have to take warning and take heed, because when these things, these things that the Lord He prophesies, you know, He prophesies through the prophets, you have to understand that these things are coming, all right, and it will come. So here's Isaiah 47 and one: Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstone and grind mill, or cover thy locks, make bare the leg, or cover thy thigh, pass over the river. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, I will, I will not meet thee as a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. All right, so, yeah, pretty much the Lord. Again, you read all over, all over. You know, through these, you know, through the Word of the Lord, you're gonna read that the Lord has vengeance out for Babylon the Great. All right, He has the vengeance because their sins have reached unto heaven, and it's time for the Lord to reap. So, you know, that was better on that. Yeah, most of this, most of this going down the drain. All right, all this fun, all this folly, all these things that's going on, you know, all that's going down the drain. You see, people, people want to enjoy the end of something, of the the end of something. Um, but but that's the wrong thing, man. You shouldn't be trying to enjoy. You know, I guess you can, but for the most part, you're gonna do it to your death. You know. Get this right quick. All right, first, second Thessalonians, first Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 2. I mean, I'm gonna start at one. What are the times and seasons, brethren? You have no need that are right unto you, for you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. As travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Alright? So the time the times and seasons that we are living in is the end. So this is gonna come like a thief in the night, alright? War, Jacob's trouble, famine, tribulation, all this is gonna come like a thief in the night. Now, for the righteous who are watching, it's not gonna come like a thief, right? 
because you've been watching. You've been taking heat. Well, yeah, man. For you who have been watching, you are, you are, you are staying up to date with the things that are going on, you know. But for these people who are living like, like, uh, they're living in a uh, false reality. These people are living in a unrealistic reality. All right, full of pleasure, full of lust, full of, full of comfort. All right. Not knowing that this is not gonna keep going forever, you see? So we know that America, alright, Babylon the Great, this land right here is gonna it's gonna catch a lot of people off guard because of the way that it lives, the, the society that it pushes, it's gonna be caught off guard, alright? When all hell breaks loose, first crops to go in, in these FEMA camps are gonna be you, damn two-thirds, and you people who are just just heathens. Y'all gonna be going to these FEMA camps, y'all are not stocking up. We're not, we're not pushing stock up like like that, but if you want to do it, that's smart. You know, if you were an American, you should be damn stocking up, man. When instead, what you doing, man? You just going to work daily. You thinking things are going to come back to normal? Because you remember back in C19, when everybody was getting hectic, but it just it came back. So what the government has done is started a riot, started a chaos, you know, and then they want to go and fix it. So now we have the real one and you're like ah oh, it's not overreact on this one that's why it says the lord is going to take you like a thief you know he's going to get you prepared you know and then, and then finally at the last one when you're least expecting it when you think you know the pattern you think you know how things are going you think you know you think that you found it out that's when the lord is going to bring it down see and you can kind of feel it this one for some reason i mean things are getting bad but you don't really hear people really really talking about it like that you see you don't see people really, you know, thinking it's, it's going to uh, get too bad. People are, are anticipating that things should get back to normal pretty soon. Not knowing that this could be the one, you know, this could, you know, the one when you least expect it, that, that could actually be the one, you know? It's a true, it's a true false reality. Because, because the people depend, the people, the, the people depend and they hope in, in America. All right, they're open in, in the elites of America. They open the government of America that that they'll bring whatever. Because when you think about it, during that during that you know CV19 whole crisis, what happened was the people now see the so well some of the people see the government or America's heads as, as gods. All right, because they can bring anything to a to a to a uh, to a peaceful time. All right, they can bring anything back. So. Say, say judgment start, start to happen, right? They're gonna believe that the government can help them again, all right? The government can bring them out of that bad time, you know? When then in fact, they can't, see? So, you're gonna, you're gonna really be in this false reality. But yeah, man, you might just go ahead and uh, end it right there. All right, so, we're gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to the most high to the sun. Yeah, I'll about you, man. 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 I'll about you, man